Champan, Shompong, is a language, or languages, spoken on Great Nicobar Island in the Indian Union Territory of the Andaman and Nicobar Islands in the Indian Ocean south of Burma. Partially because the native peoples of the Andaman and Nicobar Islands are protected from outside researchers, Champan is poorly described, with much of the data from the 19th century and the little 20th-21 stone century data of poor quality. It appears to belong with the other southern Nicobarese varieties. Speakers The Champan are hunter-gatherers living in the hilly hinterland of the Great Nicobar Biosphere Reserve. Population estimates are approximately 400, although no census has been conducted. Harmanand Lal, 1977-104, reported the presence of several Champan villages in the interior of Great Nicobar Island. Decayed 10 km northeast of Pulo Babi, a Nicobarese village on the western coast of Great Nicobar, 15 persons and 4 huts. Paithi, 16 km southeast of Pulo Babi. Tataya, inhabited by the Dogmar River Champan group, who had moved from Tataya to Pulo Kunyi between 1960 and 1977. Data During the 20th century, the only data available were a short word list in De Ropesorf, 1875, Scattered Notes Man, 1886, and Comparative List in Man, 1889. It was a century before more data became available. Seventy words were published in 1995, and then in 2003 substantial new data was published, the most extensive so far. However, Blench and Sidwell 2011 note that the 2003 book is at least partially plagiarized. The authors show little sign of understanding the material, which is full of anomalies and inconsistencies, and that the data appears to have been taken from an earlier source or sources, perhaps from the colonial era. Van Driem 2008 found it too difficult to work with, but Blench and Sidwell made an attempt at analyzing and retranscribing the data, based on comparisons of Malay loanwords and identifiable cognates with other Austroasiatic languages. They conclude that the data in the 1995 and 2003 publications come from either the same language or two closely related languages. Classification Although traditionally lumped in with the Nicobarese languages, which form a branch of the Austroasiatic language family, there was little evidence to support this assumption during the 20th century. Mann 1886 notes that there are very few Champan words that bear any resemblance to Nicobarese, and also that in most instances, words differ between the two Champan groups he worked with. For example, the word for back of the body is given as Gikau, Tamnoi, and Hakoa in different sources. To bathe, as Pu, G, Oihop and Hahom, and Head, as Koi and Fiao. In some of these cases, this may be a matter of borrowed versus native vocabulary, as Koi appears to be Nicobarese, but it also suggests that Champan is not a single language. Based on the 1997 data, however, Van Driem concluded that Champan was a Nicobarese language. Blench and Sidwell note many cognates with both Nicobarese and with Jahaic in the 2003 data, including many words found only in Nicobarese or only in Jahaic, or sometimes also in Sinoic, and also note that Champan shares historical phonological developments with Jahaic. Given the likelihood of borrowing from Nicobarese, this suggests that Champan might be a Jahaic or at least an Auslian language, or perhaps a third branch of a southern Austroasiatic family alongside Auslian and Nicobarese. However, Paul Sidwell 2017 classifies Champan as a southern Nicobaric language rather than as a separate branch of Austroasiatic. Phonology It is not clear if the following description applies to all varieties of Champan, or how phonemic it is where it does apply. Eight vowel qualities are recovered from the transcription, i.e., h, t, o, u, which may be nasalized and also appear long. There are numerous vowel sequences and diphthongs. The consonants are attested as follows. Many Austroasiatic roots with final nasal stops, asterisk m asterisk n asterisk, appear in Champan with voiced oral stops. BD. This resembles Auslian, and especially Jahaic, where historical final nasals have become prestopped or fully oral. 
However, whereas in Jahaic nasals conflated with oral stops, in Champan oral stops appear to have been lost first, only to be reacquired as nasals became oral. There are also, however, numerous words that retain final nasal stops. It is not clear if borrowing from Nicobarese is enough to explain all of these. Champan could have been partially relaxified under the influence of Nicobarese, or consultants might have given Nicobarese words during elicitation, though it was clearly the case for some. Other historical sound changes are word final asterisk r and asterisk l as w, asterisk r before a vowel as j, loss of final asterisk h and asterisk s, and the breaking of Austroasiatic long vowels into diphthongs. References <laughs>